In this video, I will compare Fantastical versus Google Calendar and tell you which of these ones may be best for you. So first, of course, Google Calendar is pretty well known. It's just a calendar that comes with your Google account and it's a very basic calendar where you can simply add blocks and then you can say what you're going to do during the block. Now comparing this to Fantastical, which also has a free plan available, Fantastical also has a calendar feature so you can add stuff to your calendar Fantastical works on all Apple devices, so Mac, Vision Pro, iPad, iPhone, and Apple Watches. So if you don't use Apple, then you should just use Google Calendar. If you do use Apple, then you can use Fantastical. And you will see you can use it for scheduling, for focus time, you can detect conference calls, and you can use it across all your devices. But some of the features of Fantastical are actually the task management. Now you will also see what the calendar looks like right here. So it's a very nice looking block calendar, very similar to that of Google Calendar. They have an award winning design and it's just very aesthetically pleasing. But on top of just being a calendar, you can also plan, schedule and accomplish your tasks. So if you're just looking for a tool for calendars, I would just go with Google Calendar since it works on every single device and all you need is a Google account. And I would use Fantastical if you're looking for a little bit more of an advanced tool. Maybe you even want to upgrade to their premium plans for individuals or for families and teams and business. So if you do want to sync your calendar with your family, for example, or with your team or business, then I would also go with Fantastical since that is one of Fantastical's features. Now, again, you can also use it for free and in the free plan, you will get access to a bunch of features. For example, weather forecast, you can get notifications on your phone, you can add tasks, events, accounts, you can delete events and tasks and much more. So if you're looking for a more advanced tool that doesn't just have a calendar, but also allows you to add tasks, then I would go with Fantastical. If you're looking for a standard calendar, then go with Google Calendar. Now I'll leave a link to Fantastical's pricing page right here down in the description. So from here, you can just see if it's worth it for you to upgrade to their premium plans. And maybe you even want to get started with the family or teams and business plans. So click on the link in the description. And if you just want to get started for free, click try for free in the top right. And then from there, you can simply get started for free. If this comparison of Fantastical versus Google Calendar was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.